we aren't doing a spell, I promised you a writing using the magical script chart that we got. Look at this. It is gorgeous. I chose the Ogham script because I am of a Celtic background and my husband loves all things Celtic, Irish, Old World. So I thought it was perfect. I wrote him a poem, a poem about yin and yang, basically. Doo, doo, doo. Where did I stick it? Oh, goodness gracious, I would lose my brain if it wasn't attached. Am I sitting on it? Did I eat it? Ah, it flew away. Okay. So it's a poem by Harriet Mullen called Any Lit. And basically it's a story of balance. Some examples of our relationship are, I am the calm to his wrath. He is the logic to my whimsy. We walk that fine middle line most of the time, meeting in the middle. Um, occasionally things tip a little bit to one or the other, but that's any relationship. So I wrote him this poem in Autumn script. Um, I will show you here. Here we have our parchment paper with a little bit of lined paper. This is just taped to the back. That way I can write in straight lines and make them look beautiful instead of all over the place like I usually would. Here we have our enchantment ink. In place of this you can use Dove's Blood ink. We got this in our awesome little box of inks. Victorian Trading Co. and the Witch's Moon. Of course it comes with this beautiful glass pen. Never used something like this before, it's gonna be fun. Gotta set the mood incense. Any Lit by Harriet Mullen. You are a ukulele beyond my microphone. You are a Yukon beyond my Micronesia. You are a union beyond my meiosis. You are a unicycle beyond my migration. You are a universe beyond my mitochondria. You are a Eucharist beyond my Miles Davis. You are a euphemy beyond my myocardiogram. You are a unicorn beyond my minotaur. You are a Eureka beyond my Maitai. You are a yield beyond my Maitai. You are a euphemism beyond my mind. As you can see, some of the letters in the Occam script repeat themselves, like the I and the Y. They seem to be exactly the same to me. I don't know enough about it. Um, if anybody else knows anything about the Occam script and why some letters repeat themselves, please leave it in the comments down below. I would love to learn. I just haven't had a chance to research it myself just yet. Um, so next I did some things with fire that aren't exactly safe. So I just kind of left that out. And then we'll go on to how I made it. Shut the garage door! If you hear that noise, that's my husband downstairs. He just opened the garage door and now all I hear is his blasting music and his voice and he has no idea that I'm doing this up here. So bless his little soul. I am the quiet to his loud. <laughs> um, so as I was making this into a picture frame, I used the fire to kind of seal it with love and then I put some special ingredients onto a candle that I poured my energy into. I used love oil that is from my high priestess. The ingredients are top secret, sorry. I used yellow rose petals from my and his very first Valentine's Day together. I use a little bit of cinnamon, just regular cinnamon. Cinnamon helps smell, spells move faster. And then I used compass weed. We got this a few boxes back and one of the attributes of compass weed is lust. 
and what marriage does not need a little lust in it? to make a little heart over there off to the side. That was one of my moments where I should have just left it alone. But no, I kept on going and going and just made it worse. And I, I should have gave up a long time ago on that little section. But I also lost some footage here. I don't know if you saw the end product or not. So this is the little heart thing. Oop, get that out of there. The heart thing that I was trying to make happen had minimal success with and then decided at the last minute to add a rose petal and things got mushed. But as you should do with all spells, this is the candle you see right here behind me continuing to burn. I'm going to let it burn all the way down that way everything that I put into it gets dispersed out into the world. And if you snuff out a flame, then you snuff out the wish. You snuff out the power that you put into it. There are very few exceptions for that. Um, one exception that comes to mind is a study candle. That one you can snuff out and relight, just don't blow it out. More stories on that later. That's all I've got for today. I wish all of you a blessed Yule, Merry Christmas, Happy Kwanzaa, Happy Hanukkah, Happy everything that I'm not mentioning because the world is a big place and there are many religions and I don't know them all unfortunately. Have a good evening.